Okay, so this problem is basically a probability question. We're given a few pieces of information, and then we're asked to calculate probabilities of different events regarding diabetes testing. So if we take a look at the problem, let's just immediately get three facts right on the table. We see that if a child actually has diabetes, the probability that, that the diabetes test will be positive is 80%. So we can say, we can write this in probability notation, probability of positive test given diabetes is 0.8. Child doesn't have diabetes, the probability of the test will be positive is 10%. So you write this as probability of positive test given no diabetes is 0.1. And then finally, we're told 5.5% of all children have diabetes. So we write this as probability of diabetes is 0 0.055. Then let's just do a few more calculations uh, just so we can have some of these probabilities uh, ready to go uh, because we will have to calculate using them in parts A through F of this problem. So we, if we know the probability of diabetes is 5.5%, you either have diabetes or you don't. So it's pretty obvious. Probability of no diabetes is 94.5% or 0.945. Uh, similarly, if the probability you get a positive test given you have diabetes is 0.8, that means the probability that you have a negative test given diabetes would just be 0.2. Uh, because again, you could only get a positive or a negative test result. And similarly, the probability of a negative test given diabetes is just one minus the probability that you get a false positive, that you get a positive result, even though you don't have diabetes. So we know the false positive probability is 0.1. So the probability of a negative result given that you don't have diabetes is just one minus 0.1 or 0.9. So with all those probabilities set, let's just solve A through F. What's the probability a randomly chosen child has diabetes test positive? That's just equal to the probability you have diabetes times the conditional probability that you test positive given you have diabetes. 0 0.055 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.044. Next, what's the probability a randomly chosen person tests positive? That's equal, there's two combinations of events by which that could take place. Either you both test positive and uh, you have diabetes or you both test positive and you do not have diabetes. Um, the probability you test positive and have diabetes is 0 0.044. The probability you don't test positive and have don't, and or the probability you test positive and don't have diabetes is equal to 0.945 times 0.1. Add these up, you get 0.1385. Um, you could round um, to the nearest three decimal points, but I wouldn't recommend doing that till the end. You should use this intermediate value 0.1385 if you're using this in later parts of the problem. Part C, given a test comes up positive, what is the probability the child has diabetes? That's just equal to the probability that you have diabetes, you test positive, divided by the probability of diabetes. We already have both these values, 0 0.044, divided by 0 0.055, that's 0 0.8. Um, next, what's the probability a randomly chosen child does not have diabetes and tested negative? That's just the probability that you don't have diabetes times the probability that you tested negative given that you don't have diabetes. So that's just 0.945 times 0.9. Again, both those things we calculated right up top here. And you get your answer of 0 0.8505. Again, it would be 0 0.851 if you're rounding the three decimal points. But if you're using... Um, a value, you know, in later steps, you'd want to use an unrounded value. Now, part E says, what's the probability that a randomly chosen child tests negative? That's equal to the probability of testing negative and not having diabetes, plus the probability of testing negative and having diabetes. And in this case, we already got the probability of 0 0.8505 of testing negative and not having diabetes. We add to that the probability that you have diabetes times the probability that you test negative given that you have diabetes and your answer is 0.8615. Uh, and finally, part F, given that a test comes up negative, what's the probability that the child does not have diabetes? So that's equal to the probability that you have no diabetes and you got a negative test divided by the probability of a negative test alone. That's 0 0.8505 divided by 0 0.8615 and you get about 0.987. So that's how you do problems A through F on this probability question. Hope you have a good day. See ya.